Hey guys, Rani here. I'm going to talk about something very special today. Today is the big day for those of you who were part of the secret. Uh, and I'm talking about Ophio, right? Ophio is a new platform which is launching as a beta platform today. So it's not officially launched yet, but uh, they give access to a bunch of beta users and I'm lucky enough to be one of them, uh, to try their platform and see what it is all about and maybe generate some, some interest for other users. Like for me, for example, I am a video creator. I've been creating videos for over 10 years now. Uh, I've been doing so for my customers. I've been doing so with my own NGO. I've been creating a lot of online courses. Um, I teach about Canva. I teach about other like branding courses. Um, and, and so video is basically my day-to-day -day activity, right? So I think I am the right person to guide you through these first steps into Ophio. All right, so my first impression is that first, I, I really like the hype that you guys managed to create with your uh, emails like saying uh, it's coming in one week, it's coming in three days, it's coming tomorrow and then it finally came out. I was really expecting the email and so I was really happy to open it, click on it, uh, create my account and, and start designing. So that was my first impression. Um, also I really like the design, the interface is very 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 slick. I really like it, I like the use of gradients, I like uh, that it's minimalistic, but yet uh, very user-friendly. So this is well done, guys. Um, next, I have to admit, I spent like a good 10 minutes trying to understand what was going on. I didn't watch any tutorials and then I decided, okay, you know what, they sent us 18 tutorials. If you don't understand, it's, it's your, your fault. Uh, uh, you'd better watch the tutorial. So I, I just stopped whatever I was doing and I started to watch the 18 short tutorials that you guys sent. That was pretty useful. So I recommend everybody to do that as well. And then uh, my first project was not very good, but then I, um, I created one from scratch. But before that, I wanted to understand how things were made. So one of the things I did is that I opened one of the templates that you guys proposed, the layouts. I don't know how you call it, the designs. Uh, the burger one, the one with the, uh, like a yellow background and a burger. So what I did, and this was pretty useful, I recommend any, any people who are serious about designing with uh, Ophio to do the same, is to deconstruct um, the animation. So the way I did this, basically, I, I opened the design and then I deselected, like I, I, I hid all the layers all the way to the first one, to the bottom one, so the, the burger photo. Um, and so that way I understood, okay, so this is a photo and then the next layer on top of it, what is this? It's a shape, but it's some, some kind of mask. So I tried to find each of these elements one by one okay like uh, this little uh, arrow going down so i tried to um, just add the layers one by one until i understood everything that was going on and so that was pretty useful uh, i think i understand part of the logic that the, the the layer at the bottom is always the first layers that are put together in your design so start with there uh, deconstruct the designs that are presented to you by Ophio if you want to learn how to how to create them. Um, one thing that would be useful is to create tutorials for each of these designs. So I might be working on this, uh, have to see, not sure yet. Um, okay, so let's start with my feedbacks uh, for this design. So first, maybe I can show you the, the design I posted in the group or, already, but uh, let's make this bigger and see, yep, let's make this bigger. It's pretty cheesy, but... Okay, so one of the things I noticed from the get-go is that you, you have a lot of designs that are squared, 
Uh, so it's very good for Instagram, I suppose, or even Facebook, like Facebook posts. But me, I'm uh, really more interested about the 1920 by 1080 format because that's the video format. And uh, I was hoping that I can use Ophio in my work. So to create some slick lower thirds or transitions or whatever uh, motion graphics that I can use in my work, in my videos. So I was a little bit disappointed to only find square templates, square designs, but I'm, I'm imagining you are working on more of these for different formats, right? Okay, so that was my first uh, impression. Then um, basically I like the fact that you can import whatever design. So this is very important. I imported two of them. I started to mess around. Uh, so I created here this uh, shape. And let me get the timeline back. It's pretty intuitive, basically. Uh, yeah, I also struggled for quite some time about how do I rename these damn uh, layers? And then I understood, okay, you just double click on it. And so, but it took me 10 minutes to figure that out. It was in one of the tutorials, so I should have started with the tutorials. Uh, that's why I'm recommending everybody to, uh, to, to start with this. Uh, what else uh, did I struggle with? Well, one of the things I don't quite like is the fact that you cannot animate an object. Uh, for example, in Premiere Pro or in After Effects, you can create a shape. Let's say I create this title here. And in my timeline, I can create a keyframe saying, OK, this is the position of this element um, at this time of the timeline. Let me see. Uh, yeah, this. So this is the position of this Ophio at this time of the timeline, right? And then I will move my time indicator to another part of the timeline and I will move this text to another place. And then this, the program will interpolate the, the movement between point A and point B. And this, I believe, is not possible in Ophio. So for me, this is crucially missing. I would love to create my own little animation, like create a rectangle that goes from here to there, uh, you know, moving things my way. Yeah, I was saying one of the things I really, really like is the gradient. This is a great idea. Uh, look, so I can create a gradient, gradient, sorry, for my shape here. It's a basic rectangle. You can go with one of the presets, custom or gradient. And this is wonderful because you're not limited to a couple of gradients. You can create your own and you can even select the angle of the gradient. So I really, really like that. Uh, it's really cool. Um, more than likely, I, I, my suggestions are um, maybe more customization going on. Uh, you guys mentioned the dimension of the timeline. Yes, could be a problem, especially when you work on a big uh, dimension project like this one. So I had to make it really, uh, not really slow, not really um, small, sorry, like about 30% uh, so that I can see my timeline and I can still see my um, working area full screen. So that was... Uh, um, that's not a big issue, I would say, but it would be nice maybe to have like a full screen button somewhere. You can put it full screen and, and, and just play it back. That would be interesting. Um, what else? Yeah, one thing I didn't like is that you cannot um, reduce the duration of the animation. So basically these animate in, animate out. It's all right. I understand it needs to be simplified, but it's too simple in my opinion. Um, for example, like where the animation comes from, like from the left, from the right, from the top, why can it just come from wherever I position my element? So that was something that bothered me a little bit. And the other thing is that I cannot reduce the duration of this animation. If I want to, for example, uh, make this thing come faster, or one of the elements come faster, up or down or down or from the left, from the right, whatever, I would like to be able to, this, this um, lighter shade of green here that represents basically the duration of the animation. Uh, I would like to have control over this and I don't. Uh, it's like this. It's the same duration for every uh, piece of animation and don't quite like that. One of the things I do on a regular basis in my work is to synchronize music with moving parts of moving uh, images or even animation. So I was able to do this with the hearts on my eyes and also like the popping kind of elements at the end. Uh, let me show you. 
okay, so the the pumping of the heart was kind of a coincidence. It's just a nice coincidence that it goes with the music. But it, it would have been nice to be able to control all this. So again, I do understand this needs to be a simplified animation tool, otherwise it becomes an after effect and that's not what you, what you want. Um, so overall, pretty satisfied with all this. Um, I have a few concerns though. First, will this really be useful for my work as a professional? Uh, I find it interesting to play around with, but so far it remains a toy for me. I haven't really seen like um, deeper functions that would allow me to really use this in my work or maybe I just need to spend more time and find some tricks around it. Unlike Canva, I, I create a lot of graphics in Canva that I use for my work uh, because I can go deeper, I feel, in the animations, uh, not animations, but in the, in the details, in the control I have over my whole creation. Uh, here, I feel like I have limited choices because it's presets. Uh, everything is preset for you, the animations are preset. Uh, even though I can import some stuff, I can import some visuals, but cannot really import any of my own animation. So um, I'm a bit concerned about this. I think I will be limited quite, quite uh, quickly by the number of animation or what they do. Um, so I imagine you guys will have a business model where you will sell more elements. Um, so it really depends on how much comes with the free version, in my opinion, if it's uh, a big package, a big, big of a package enough for me to decide, all right, this, this is worth it. So uh, to sum it all up, I would like more control over features, over the duration, over the animation, over the path of certain elements in my design. Um, it would be nice to have more tutorial, though I understand you guys wanted to launch. Uh, maybe it's our, our role to create the tutorials and I'll be happy to do so if, if you guys are interested um, to go deeper because I, I, I do intend to uh, master this platform as fast as I can so I can see if this could be complementary to my work, complementary to my uh, design uh, workflow with Canva as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. Good, good job, guys. I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, I'm satisfied with what I've seen. What I've seen. Yeah, just the last thing is the exporting. Like th this was quite painful. This cat is running really slow. <coughs> this five second video took me about 25 minutes to export. I do understand there might, might be some uh, server overloads. But anyways, uh, I think you guys did a good job and I encourage you to listen to your community. It seems like you are very like with your ear in the, on the ground to listen to what's going on over there. Hope this video is useful. All right, thank you.